Hey guys, uh, welcome to your um, energy check-in for Scorpio. Uh, this is going to be for uh, December 2021, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. We're going to take a look at your overall energies, what's surrounding you guys, what you guys need to know, what you guys could expect for December, and then we'll see what the possible outcome and advice are. Keep in mind that this could be in anything, love, romance, relationships, uh, friendships, family, career, uh, finances, uh, personal development, spiritual development. Uh, we will see what the cards pick up. Um, keep in mind that you could switch the roles if you want, apply this to your own unique situation. And also keep in mind that um, this is just a general reading. I am tapping into the collective Scorpio and not tapping into uh, your specific individual energy. I only do that in personal readings, okay? Um, so just take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Uh, before we get started, if you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up, like this video so that this message can circulate around to the individuals that need to hear this. Share this video with someone if you feel like there's someone out there that you know that needs to hear this. Uh, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. And for those of you guys that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link is in the description box below. All right, so Scorpio, let's get started. Uh, over energies for Scorpio. What is surrounding Scorpio? What does Scorpio need to know? What can Scorpio expect? For December 2021, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. So I added the Jupiter uh, because, you know, if money stuff comes up, you know, that has your luck and your money. So your abundance, growth. Well, it could apply to all areas, but yeah. Let's see what we have a Scorpio here. Six of Pentacles and the Death card. So there is a change here regarding your money. There could be an increase. You might be getting paid out in regards to something here. Let's see. Uh, that's your energy right there with the death card. Could be dealing with another Scorpio in and around your energy here. We have the strength card and the ace of cups. King of swords and the page of wands here. So, um... Libra, Aquarius, Gemini with the King of Swords, Aries, Leo, Sag. Could be dealing with the Aries here, or Leo or Sag. Uh, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, um, another Scorpio, a Leo, three of cups on the bottom of the deck. So I feel like we have someone here that has really, really strong feelings towards somebody too, in regards to love. Someone here is finding someone here that's uh, very sexually attractive, sort of like lusting for them. And I feel like we have a masculine energy here that wants to approach somebody, uh, perhaps to ask out on a date. I mean, this is definitely a new thing here, something new, you know? So, I mean, there might be someone here that is seeing a potential here. You might be looking for new love too, or someone found you, you found somebody. So just apply this to your own unique situation, Scorpio. It seems like you're out and about just meeting new people with the Three of Cups here. So, and with that Six of Pentacles, there's a change in your money, I feel. Like you're getting an increase in something here. You might be getting it, maybe like an increase in confidence too, uh, regarding you know, this new person that's coming towards you or this new person or you, you going towards this new person. All right, um, let's see, Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. There's the Six of Pentacles here. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? Right, 
Six of Pentacles and Temperance. It, it seems like there might be, it might have been a shift in your energy. Yeah, maybe like in the past there was like a lack of balance, a lack of peace, but things are changing. You know, maybe you sought some sort of help. Maybe you had some sort of healing, some sort of spiritual growth here. Uh, maybe you guys, some of you guys do some sort of energy work or you speak to a, like a spiritual advisor. Maybe you're turning to the divine for help here. Uh, maybe you're meditating. Um, death, the fool. I feel like you're like a whole new person, Scorpio. Or maybe the person that you're dealing with is feeling this way. Let's see. Strength. The sun. More Leo energy. I feel like you're a whole new person. You're a completely different person. You're come, I feel like the energy that's coming off here is more happy, more confident than before. Because maybe before you were struggling with that. Perhaps before, I'm, I'm feeling like some of you are recently sober. Like, yeah. So let's see, Ace of Cups, Four of Cups. I feel like you're confident enough to put yourself out there to meet new people and to potentially find new love too. Maybe in the past you isolate, isolated yourself. Maybe in the past you were depressed. Maybe in the past you were drinking a lot. Yeah, but I feel like something has changed. Something has shifted. The energy has shifted. I could see like the dark cloud like kind of clearing out, moving away sort of thing. King of Swords. Four of Swords. Do you seem more peaceful and more happy, uh, um, uh, Scorpio? Let's see. Page of Wands here. And more upbeat. Yeah, you just want to have fun, too. Eight of Pentacles. So I feel like you've been working at yourself. Scorpio, this is your energy right here. Well, you could place yourself where you see fit, okay? Either this King of Swords or this Queen of Cups here. It seems like you might have met someone or someone here cares about you or you care about the other person, just apply this to your own unique situation, okay? All right, um, outcome and advice here for Scorpio regarding their situation for uh, December 2021, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Outcome and advice here for uh, Scorpio. Scorpio, this is looking really good. Look at look so look at what's happening. So I feel like once this dark cloud has moved away from you, like I feel like look at that ten of cups. I mean, all I have to say is just wow. Let's see what else we have here. Queen of Cups, we have that Queen of Cups right there. Interesting. Okay, so we have the Queen of Cups and then the Nine of Wands. So there is someone on your radar. The thing is, I feel like this person will not be on the same vibration as you because this person is extremely wounded. Yeah, this is a wounded individual. That Nine of Wands is a wounded uh, warrior card. So this person is traumatized. This person hasn't really taken the time to work on themselves. So I feel like it might create some sort of imbalance because, you know, you you, you spiritually, um, at this point, have ascended. You've grown. You've changed. The hangman and the four of cups. Piscean energy could be dealing with the Pisces here, maybe. Or another Scorpio. Or... Um, 
a Cancer. We have the Ten of Swords on the bottom of the deck here. I do feel like there's going to be new love for you, but I also feel like this person might not be healthy for you because I feel like... I feel like it could be a situation where if you surround yourself with this individual, you might regress back to where you were at before. It could be a bit overwhelming for you. Yeah, with that Three of Cups, I feel like you're trying to surround yourself with like-minded like people, yeah? Yeah, it just seems like, you know, once you made this big change, things really started to change. More confidence, more abundance, you know, um, just really, I'm a little speechless. I'm kind of like, wow, but let's see what else we have here as we clarify. Ten of Pentacles. Wow. <laughs> Two of Cups. King of Swords, the Fool, Aries energy, Aquarius energy. I just feel like you're a lot happier. I do feel like there is a new person. I do feel like it's this Queen of Cups here. Um, the thing is, I just feel like this Queen of Cups, like I said, is not on the same uh, vibration wave, wave. Yeah, you see, we have someone here who's extremely guarded and wounded here. Someone here who is not vulnerable with their emotions. Yeah, we have someone here that's extremely hurt. So I feel like this is, you know, using your own judgment and discernment whether this is going to be good for you or not because you overcame something that was really, you know, uh, sort of running your life for a, a while. Uh, Hangman. The Knight of Swords. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Four of Cups. The Three of Cups. We have the Lovers here. Wow. I just feel like that you have changed so much that, you know, maybe you do care about this person, but you're not even going to bother with this. Yeah, you're not even going to bother with this. I, I just feel like you're just on freaking cloud nine right now. I feel like you're surrendering, sur surrendering control and you're just allowing things to be. If it was meant to be, it'll, it's, it'll be meant to be. Yeah. And, you know, if this was supposed to happen with this Queen of Cups, you know, this process would have been flawless. But if you are already talking to this person or you will talk to this person, you're going to be met with a lot of resistance and a lot of blockage here. So, but Scorpio, I feel like you're doing great. I feel like you're doing really, really, really great. So, um, those, uh, if this, story, yeah, this story that applies to you guys, um, some of you guys, really hats off to you guys. I mean, this is really beautiful. So, um, Scorpio, if this resonated, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks.